we're here today because the landfill access road to the Dubuque landfill is being relocated and the tree with the eagle's nest in it is approximately six feet off the pavement so it's got to come down. So bald eagles uh, are protected under the Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act um, and uh, their nests are also protected so because the nest is going to be impacted by the road project um, uh, DOT had to, to get a permit to move the nest uh, or to impact the nest and, and the decision was made to try to move it uh, to another location in the hopes that the birds would use it uh, in the future. So you can see that we've taken, the contractors taken all the other trees down in the area and this is the last one. So we're going to try to relocate this nest to a different tree to allow the birds an opportunity to use it. Uh, so eagles, eagles uh, use the same nest uh, year after year and they continue to add sticks to the nest. And so over time the nest can get really large and in some cases, uh, you know, nests have been uh, documented to be the size of a small car, you know, sort of a Volkswagen Beetle uh, size, can weigh up to a ton. Uh, and uh, you know, some, some of the Iowa DNR staff that work with, with eagles uh, have actually been up in nests when they're banding the small birds and uh, they've been able to get inside the nest to lay, you know, a six foot person can lay completely down inside them and never, never actually see them in there. So, um, you know, a lot of eagle nests that over time fall down, it's just because they get too big and heavy for the tree. And we'll have some mitigation measures that we'll need to do, like monitoring to see if the new nest gets used. But today, we're just gonna see if we can get it down and get it moved into a different tree. We had a tree selected, but after the leaves fell off, we decided that uh, the tree structurally probably wasn't strong enough to hold the, the nest. So we had to switch and, uh, and pick a different tree, uh, and, and that one's a little closer to this one. But it's, it's not that far away uh, from where the birds are, you know, had originally built this one. We're not exactly sure how this is going to work, but they're going to try to trim the tree to make it smaller and then a ways down below the nest, cut the tree off and kind of wrap the nest and hoist it up. And then we'll try to set it, we're going to try to set it intact in a different tree. We have some steel trays that our materials lab made for us that we're gonna to try to use as a support to set the nest in. Have you guys done stuff like this before with the Eagle's Nest relocation? Uh, uh, Stantec has, uh, not in Iowa, uh, our California offices just recently did this, earlier this year, uh, uh, with the nest out there, um, and, and did a similar, uh, you know, similar process where uh, we had constructed some platforms to put the nest in. That nest was out there was not able to be moved in one piece. Um, it, it kind of fell apart as they were uh, as they were doing it. So they, they put the new uh, the new platforms up, and then they uh, they were able to, uh, to to use the sticks kind of as a starter. And stuff. Oh, it'll go well. Yeah, yeah, we got the right rig, and yeah, this I'm not worried about it. You guys use that all the like quite a bit, or is that just something you made specifically for this? That's his deal there. He's the crane man. <laughs> Every every job's different. Yeah, you got to use different rigging for everything. You know, not, nothing's that size. You know, like say so he came up, and measured it all, and got that set up so it straddle that nest.
was, we're going to try to put it in a tree over there. All right. We've got, here, come up here and I'll show you. What we've got there. But but we looked at if we could time. put a hole in it and well, set see, the trunk through it. See, what then, kind of, I talked when we first looked at it, at the first original tree. Yeah. The way that tree was, get up in it, trim it all the way out in there, cut that long part off of it. Cut it down and just let it sit right down in there and then fasten it just the way it is. Do you think it? Yeah, that's what we were going to try to do. We just didn't know if, if we need, would want to use one of these as some additional support. And I think if you cut a hole in that, it's just going to push right down through it. It's not going to hold. Well, that's what we weren't sure about. Yeah. Well, regardless, we got to haul it somehow. Yeah. Yeah, we're not so, leaving it parked here on a crane <laughs> yes. forever. So I say we try to at least get it in the trailer. In the trailer. <laughs> 